If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. We're doing another deck profile. All right, this one I've had coming for a while now since set, I don't know, six. <laughs> but I just haven't gotten around to being able to show off my updated the Degrea deck profile. Um, but now that we have set eight, I decided that I am going to be showing you guys the updates that I made for this deck. Uh, fair warning, I do not have the Oath of Vengeance promo yet, but I will be getting that promo and it will change the deck just a little bit, so maybe I'll show an update when, when I get the promo. But for now, this is our DBT-08, uh, the Grey deck profile, so let's just jump right into it. Starting off with our red line, going off with the classic the Greya line. So we got our grade zero, you know, the classic uh, the Greya artwork there with the starter. We got our grade one. This is the one where when you ride the grade two, you reveal top card, grade two or less, call it Rear's Rest. Grade two through Greya. This is the one where when you ride a grade three with the Greya name, you can look at top five for a unit with the Greya or Maple in its name and add it to your hand. And then we got our uh, Light the Greya is our main ride target for our ride deck. So let's just go into the main deck. Starting off with our other three copies of Light the Greya. So Light the Greya's skill is if you have Dark the Greya in the soul, you can counter, uh, you can call two things instead of just one, but the cost is counter blast one, reveal top five, call a card. If you have Dark the Greya, call two. The second skill is at the end of the battle that this unit attack, if you rode on top of Dark the Greya, you can uh, discard a card from your hand or restand one of your other rear guards. So you can make four attacks. Um, you know, just multi attacking in the deck is really good. Obviously, your persona riding as well. So all those units are going to have extra power. With that, we're also running four copies of Dark the Greya. Dark the Greya's skill is restanding. So what she does is the first skills act, retire to your, two of your rear guards. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. Uh, if you have Light the Grey in the soul, you can choose the column and retire your opponent's column. Second skill, uh, end of battle this attack. If you rode on top of Light, light the Grey, you can kind of last one. Discard a card from your hand, restand this unit, drive minus one. So again, extra attacks, still really good. And lastly for grade threes, I'm running one copy of the Holy Grail. Uh, Gradius uh, Gradal, Gr Gradale? Gradius Gradale. Uh, what this does is this activates um, Persona Ride for you. So if you didn't ride this turn and you're on a grade three, you can just activate the Persona Ride. So this is nice if you aren't able to get it off, um, but it's, it's kind of like just running an extra copy of like the Greya, if you want to think of it that way. So that way you can just, you know, Persona Ride just in case you don't have it in hand. So it doesn't hurt. Um, there is. It is a little iffy when um, you're running non-normal units in this deck, but I, I plan on running three copies of Oath of Vengeance anyway, so might as well get used to running orders now, you know. Now we're jumping into grade twos, three copies of Maple. So this is the BT05 Maple. What it does is for skills when you ride a grade three, you can call it from the drop zone if you don't have another copy of Maple. So the idea is you're only gonna have one on the board when you call it from the drop. Second skill is Glitter, the Grafer, the Grea, so it only works when you have the Grea Vanguard. At the end of the battle this attack, you can Soul Blast one or more cards, and then you choose a unit from your soul that's equal to the total grays that you Soul Blasted, add it to your hand, and then this goes to soul. So this is how you keep recycling the Thegreas back into your hand so that you can keep Persona writing. This is also really good for searching out specific units from your soul that you put in with Drilling Angel, which is nice. So uh, it's a, it's just a good like cycling card. And also the fact that it can call itself back, which is really nice. So key card for the deck, I'm not running four just because it is searchable and it does recycle itself in the drop. So it's better to make space for, for other cool, cool grade twos, such as Divine Sister uh, Lang Langua Langua de Chat. It's probably I, I don't know how to pronounce that word. So what this does is continuous. If you have a grade three in your soul, this gets boost and 5k. So that means you have a 15k booster or beater that you're consistently going to be getting thanks to cards like Drilling Angel and being able to rewrite over the Grail over and over again. You're most likely always going to have that boost. 
And because Light the Greya is going to be looking at top five and calling random cards, no matter where this goes, this is going to be a good spot. So it's a good beater, it's a good booster. Um, I definitely think this card should for sure be a four of in this deck. And then next up for grade twos, I'm just gonna move these up. I am running the four copies of Drilling Angel. Uh, this is probably one of the most key cards for the whole deck if you really want consistency. So what Drilling Angel does is it just picks a card from your drop, puts it into the soul. You look at the top three, look for a card with the same name as the card you put in the soul, call it. If you don't, you shuffle. The most important part is it's a free soul charge, basically. And it's also your your instant access to getting Dark through Grey into your soul, your first grade three ride. All right, so that was it for our grade twos. Now we're moving on to grade ones, starting off with our new Maple. This came out just recently in DBT08. So what Maple does is um, when it's in the drop zone and your grade three Vagrant is placed during the ride phase, so similar to the grade two Maple. Uh, if you do not have another copy of this Maple, you can call it to the rear guard circle and this gets 5k. So it's a grade one, so it's a basically a 13k booster. The glitter effect for Thugrea is uh, when this is in the back row and your other unit stands in the same column as this unit, you can stand this unit and at the, excuse me, at the end of the turn this goes back to the drop zone. Basically, no matter where you put this, um, when you're riding your grade three Thugrea, you could, you put this to a, a back row rear. If it's light Thugrea and you're restating your rear guard, you put this back row Vanguard. If it's dark Thugrea and you're restating your Vanguard. So it's a good, uh, it's a good tech. I'm only running it at one just because it does die off at the end and it doesn't make sense for you to have multiple copies of it in your drop zone if you know you're not gonna be able to keep reusing all of them so it just makes sense to only have the one it's good discard fodder for your ride deck you can just call it back out this is still a really good card in my opinion i really 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 like painkiller angel so painkiller angel is still going to stick around for me painkiller is simple it's just into battle soul blast one retire this draw card uh, I like it because we're constantly filling soul thanks to Drilling Angel. Um, and it's a good early game card when you want to throw it down just to get a booster. Uh, hit for a big number and rush. And you just want to get a draw out of it to search for your Thagrea pieces. Yeah, it's, it's a good grade one. Uh, and then I'm running two copies of uh, Assalta. Is that what this is? Yeah, Assalta. I keep forgetting the name of this card. Uh, two Assalta. Uh, what Assalta does is when it's placed on rear, or discard it from hand, you choose a back row unit and you stand it. So this is good for restanding boosters like language chat uh, when it's behind your vanguard or behind a rear guard that's restanding. So that way you can restand the booster as well. So you're restanding a 15k booster, which is pretty good. It's also this is also really good during your grade two ride because you can discard this. You ride the grade two through Rhea, and then that way you can restand the back row unit that you called rested uh, and then you can move it forward as a beat stick if you want um, it does get a little clunky and sometimes i do prefer the painkillers as a booster so that's why i do like painkiller angel also after painkiller dies and i call drilling angel if i put painkiller into the soul i have more copies to search and maybe get it off from that so i'm like i'm liking the little grade one lineup right now Next, three PGs, uh, the one where, you know, if you have two or more in hand, you have to discard. If you have one or less, you do not. And our one, Elementara Sanctitude, because this card is great. Gets around certain weird guard restricts, like with Flagberg. It's also free if uh, free in cost if your opponent has a grade four Vanguard, uh, because it has triple drive. So why not? It's just another PG. Might as well get uh, a special PG that you can only run one of. All right, and that is our grade ones. Going down to our triggers, our Martinoa. So our Martinoa is our OT. It's the one that gives regards drive checks. And then we got our eight crit. Got the uh, dragon, uh, blade feather dragon because it fills soul. Our shiny, shiny vanilla crits. Three fronts because uh, we we go through the deck a lot, surprisingly. I have actually almost decked out with this deck from how long I've had a game. Plus fronts are really aggressive for the most part when you're filling your board. And lastly, we got our three vanilla heels and I'm running one copy of uh, Tear Sorceress because we have a lot of decks right now that gain crits 
uh, artificially, like uh, Dredjuled, Bazargra, um, the list goes on. So I, I like having this in there just for defensive plays. I'm thinking of more cards as we go, like Gravidia, Barrowmagnes, you know, like there, there's a bunch. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. I am actually really excited to maybe show off this deck pretty soon. Am planning on updating it with the Oath Thagreas, and if you guys want to see a deck profile on that, uh, I will show showcase that to you guys soon. But for now, uh, if you do not have the promo, do not fret. We can still play this game just fine. It's not the biggest difference. Um, overall, the deck is pretty much the same. All right, that's it. Have a good one.